Hello guys, uh, today in this video I'm just going to do this new HP G9 uh, notebook laptop which I'm gonna do the unbox of. Uh, I'm gonna just gonna do the unboxing and full setup that how you can log in uh, set up step by step uh, from start to end and you will see how to do that and uh, um, they the they the special thing which I'm gonna show here which a lot of people ask me as well that uh, with new laptops like these ones comes with by default Windows 11 operating system in it so those in Windows 11 you have to have uh, Microsoft logins or email to sign into this laptop but I am going to show you a trick which you can use by using that you can bypass that step and you can easily log into your windows 11 without using any logins or any emails like that i know it's a bit tricky uh, microsoft are just trying to do a bit more safer way but i'm just thinking from a way if if somebody's setting up a new laptop for somebody some of their user or somebody any somebody else so they they don't need to log in with their own personal email so I am going to show you properly step by step. So let's unboxing uh, first. I just opened it. I'm just going to take out that. I'll show you what we receive in this box and what comes in this box as well. There is a charger. Okay, so that's all in this box. So in this small little box here, we have a charging cable and an adapter for your laptop for your new laptop let's take this out from this package let's take this out from this package okay you have a beautiful nice charger with this cable which you can power it uh, by just putting in here like that this will a uh, normal standard hp a blue tip which is well known as the charger uh, i think it's the same from all the notebook uh, g9 or g7 uh, laptops they're all the same so we know about this that's a warranty card uh, which comes in with it and i think it comes with like a two-year warranty with the company of anything happens with the machine and things, you can claim it back i'll put it on a side do this as well Okay, have a nice solid packing. So just start from the back. So back is like pretty much same. Like if you if you uh, check the laptops like G7 notebook, uh, they all have like same same like a rubber here where they have screws on, underneath. If you have to open it to change the battery or anything in the future obviously it's new you you don't need to do any of those things uh, but yeah it's it's a bit slimmer and nicer and nice feeling but same color similar things so as you can see from the shape as well logo hp logo very nice let's open this so when you open this yeah it's, it's just secure the keyboard it's a nice cloth you can keep it to clean your machines uh same exact setup uh, same speakers here obviously they're just gonna keep improving but yeah uh, intel core i5 and this one this one is core i5 as you can see but this one also has the fingerprints so here you can you can unlock the laptop using fingerprints as well and you have uh, a touchpad here i have buttons exactly like same the old ones you have the screen wise you have a very really good dimension uh, i think it's 13 inch um 13.6 i'll double check when i turn this on i'll show you step by step so yeah very nice so let's dive into this that's that's the power button just gonna turn it on now so yeah i'm just gonna turn this on like i said so just press the power button one time and it will start turning up now turning on already start my pc sometimes that happens when they check or anything so don't don't panic everything is fine restart my pc it will restart the pc from the beginning 
uh, where you can check. Let me see if I can turn off this flash. Okay, okay as you can see, it's starting now from the beginning, uh, step by step. So it's a very new PC. I did a bit of research before getting this one. And I would say, and this is the best in this price range. Uh, so it's really good, really handy, really useful. The kind of work, the kind of software, if you want to use, uh, it's a very strong, solid machine. I have used a couple of the old versions as well. And this one is nice. Uh, so I would recommend you guys as well. Uh, I will put the link in description below as well. Yeah, as you can see, it's a beautiful setup. You know, like the interface welcoming when you log into any of the Windows 11. So uh, you're gonna find your country. Uh, I live in Ireland. I'm gonna select that. Yes, and then then uh, language will go with or oh, yeah, my country of Ireland, Irish. Select yes. Uh, skip with that and here so here it's it's giving you options either ethernet or wi-fi which you right now as you can see it's not showing anything to skip you have to log in so i'm just gonna connect with my house wi-fi just just Follow these steps, log in as I'm doing it as well. I will tell you how you can bypass everything step by step in this video. Just just stay tuned and keep watching till the end. You will know everything. So as you can see, once it's connected, click on next. Uh, checking for updates. It's gonna check for updates as well. I will show you anytime you get a new laptop, what things you have to do in the beginning. You have to update all, all the patches, all the windows updates before using it because you, we have starting now as you can see restarting updates are underway so it's updating the essential one now first and then once it's um, uh, we are in the in the setup so then we will update ourselves manually So we are in and uh, please review the license ag agreement so you can read all this. Um, I know nobody do that, but yeah, it's important to read that and then accept before wasting your time. Uh, you can name this laptop anything or skip for now. You can name it yourself or your user, anybody you want. So whatever you like, I'm going to skip now. Okay, so here where it's gonna ask you set up for personal use or set up for work or school. So either way, it's gonna ask you to log in with the, I'll show you actually, when we go to the personal one, when you go next, okay, as you can see, it's showing sign in. Uh, when you click sign in, it's gonna bring to the interface where you have to sign in. If you have an account, why not go ahead with that, um, but I always recommend so we're gonna go like I'll show you work as well is exact same it's gonna ask you for sign in and uh, with your work even obviously as you can see you don't know what to do so here what you have to do so we are stuck we cannot go next but we have a we have a trick we have a second way which Microsoft is not showing you here but we have a short key so we are going to go in the command prompt and um, open the setup i'll show you so what you have to do you have to you have to on your keyboard you have to press function key and f10 here so i'm just going to do in front of you uh actually it's function shift f10 yeah so when you press function shift f10 uh, i'll just uh, write it down here as well uh when you fresh press function button shift and f10 all together you will see this command prompt so here you have to uh, enter the command uh, i'll just show you here and see i'll have to click here 
first ncpa dot cpl and you have to click or hit enter so when you do that you will see this windows here right as you can see it's doing ethernet option wi-fi option because it's connected it's asking me to sign in to the uh, to my login so what you have to do you have to come here right click on this disable this one when you do that it's disabled now you have to close this from here and here you have to enter a new command i'll show you now it's it's you have to restart your laptop so o o b e backslash b y bypass p a w s n r o so when you write down this one enter it's gonna restart your laptop then you don't have to worry so as you can see same exact setup we are going to do from the beginning uh, again we have to select the uh, country you're living in okay next all right ish yes skip so there you go so now the wi-fi option is gone and the another stuff is we don't we have this magic now it's showing i don't have internet before as you can see it wasn't showing this one so this is which is gonna save us before logging in so i don't have internet click on that continue with limited setup which is we want so continue with limited setup and here you have to enter the name i think we cannot skip but yeah enter the name any name you like x y z just next you don't have to enter the password if you want to enter you can enter the password otherwise you can click next it's gonna work there you go this is really confusing all the time but i always say no 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 and just skip that because we don't have time for this one it's so confusing but yeah just 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 do no and our or if you want to read you can read in detail except uh, here if you want to have emails and everything you can do that otherwise let's click next again if you want to and we're gonna be logging into the system welcome hi so as you can see steps are a bit confusing but you know what i mean like don't don't worry if you don't know emails anything uh, this is the setup for all the windows 11 laptops and this works on all the laptops i have tried all the laptops and except mac obviously because they have their own system um, this is the same thing if anything happens it's not working anything for you uh, comment in this video below and i will definitely uh, help you out with that issue so there you go we are in the system in windows 11 so that's the setup we have uh, it's a nice wallpaper so here uh, just let me show you very quickly um, as you can see here no internet when you click on this you have no wi-fi so don't worry about that i'll show you it's the same thing go and start cmd command prompt same one run as admin yes and now you have to enter the same command ncpa.cpl when you enter that you will see this one as you can see it's still disabled right click on that enable that it's gonna enable and it's gonna uh, it's gonna connect now you start looking as you can see it's connected now close this so it's connected now your internet is connected and you have internet everything is fine so that is the setup uh, for whole a to z step by step how to bypass that how to how to do or ev everything like that so uh for for the security and what you have to do when you log in 
the brand new laptop for the first time please watch my next video i'm just gonna upload after this one go go into my channel and i will show you step by step thank you very much for watching this one